thought we'd take a little time today to talk about infinite limits. Um, so let's just start and see what this is going to look like. It says, let f of x equal 3 over x minus 2. And we're asked here to find the limit as f of x approaches 2. So this is the way I want to look at this thing. Because let me, let me show you what's going to happen. Let me just show you what's going to happen. What's going to happen is this. What's going to happen is this. Let this be our Cartesian plane. And what's going to happen with this function is this. Here's our Cartesian plane. And what's going to happen is our function is going to race towards 2. Let this be the line, if you don't mind. x equals 2. And let this be x equals 2. And let this be an invisible line. Let this just be an imaginary line. Right? So what, we, what I know is going to happen is this. This thing is going to do this. As we go from values less than 2 towards 2, this function is going to do this. It's going to go ahead like this, and it's going to just start racing down like that. All right? And as we go the opposite way, as we go from values greater than 2, it's going to race towards this, and it's going to just skyrocket here and approach that 2, but never get there. So that's what's going to happen with it. The question is, what does this mean as far as limits go? Well, let me start at the end, which is to say that there, this function does not have a limit. But as we do this, we'll take a look. So check this out for a second. I'm just going to do this analytically. I'm going to, I already used my calculator, so you guys can have to do all this crap. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to set up this table, if you don't mind. I'm going to put, let this be x here and f of x is here. All right, so this is the f of x values. This is the x values. All right, so we're going to move towards 2. So let me start by telling you this. One, please, when you're starting your approaches, start somewhere near your number. So start somewhere near 2. So I'm going to start from values less than 2, and that looks like this. That would be let. That would be values less. It would be like 1.5, because that's pretty close. And then 1.9, 1.9. Whoops. 1.99, 1 and then 1.999. That's pretty damn close. But if I notice this, it's negative 6, then negative 30, then negative 300. Then negative 3,000. So, okay, so we're going towards a very small number. That tells us that. So we go, so that's when we go from values less than 2 towards 2. So we're made, we just completed this approach. Now we have to make an approach from the other side. So we're going to make an approach from here, from values greater. And we're going to make an approach from values greater and see where we end up. Um, I'm going to start way out here, and I'm going to start with the value greater, which is going to be, I don't know, 2.5. Then we went to 2.1. Now, if you look at how we're doing this, I'm approaching 2. 2.5, 2.1 is closer to 2 than 2.5 is, isn't it? So now I need a number closer to 2 than 2.1, and the value was 2.01 that I chose, 2.01. And why did I choose these values? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So can we agree each of these values as we move this way gets closer and closer? Well, guess what this value is? It's 6. This was negative 6. This is 30. The other one was negative 30. This is 300. And guess what this one was? And it's never going to fit in this space, is it? 3,000. So we can see that this thing is not approaching a limit. So look. So here's our notation for that. And people get really, really confused. So our notation for this is that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from values less than 2, from values less than 2, is equal to negative infinity. Right? And as we approach from values greater than 2, so there's the first one. The second one is, is the limit. As f of x approaches, as x approaches 2 from values greater than 2 is equal to infinity. Because remember, as we went from values less than 2, we moved and we moved and we moved and it plummeted, it dove on us, didn't it? As we move from this direction, values greater, we approached positive infinity here, right? So here's negative infinity down here, here's positive infinity. So now you're looking at this and you're going, what in the hell? I thought that the limit doesn't exist. So be sure that, that f 
that the limit of f of x equals 0 does not mean that the limit exists. On the contrary, it tells us that the limit fails to exist by, and it explains why. It's this unbounded behavior. So and one, another way to look at it is, remember that the limit has to be a number, 3.2 or 9.04 or 7, whatever. Infinity or negative infinity, they're not numbers, they're ideas, right? They're an idea. So, okay. Uh, also, remember this, this line right here that, that approaches is called a vertical asymptote. Okay, you guys, I'm going to call it a day on this one. Hope you uh, got something from this. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks.